hey what's up hello welcome back to my youtube channel today is the second video on about i'm building a e-commerce app using plot and marvel so in this section of the video here we're going to be um creating um a model a cedar and a factory so meaning we're just going to create dominators for this ui that we have here so we're going to be creating the categories dominator we have um product dominator and um you know yeah just that so in case when we want to start building the app we can just populate populate them okay so without further ado let's just get started so the first thing we want to do here is we want to first create uh the model for our category so in order for us to do that we can just go ahead and do open up my terminal then i can do um php artist uh, make model make model category and don't forget the m flag to create a migration files now inside our migration file what we want to make sure it is down to have a um, just don't have the name okay and this is basically what we need had it been this is a this is like a web kind of stuff right so i think maybe this is like a web kind of stuff we would have uh we would have needed to add um slugs and so on and so forth and ignore what is showing here and guys this is my editor um error ignore that so if this was on the on the web would have needed to add add slug on so what else to go this is not on the web so we we'll just do it like this so now you can go ahead and do php at this and migrate okay okay so created our migration right that so in our um how to open the category model you can just do protected um you know fillable Which is going to be the main okay so that is those that is basically what we need and um all we can do is uh we can say let's create uh, a, a factory you can say php that is uh make factory right so it's a just that is a make factory and um we'll call it a category factory Right. and then uh, i'll give it a tag of the model to be the, one, the category model okay. so we've created our factory here so on creation we want to make sure we have um i, I, I used to make sure i have um this so we need to say uh protected protected model right so we're going to to follow our category class make sure it imports import it so what we need is not the name right so we just if a car what that is basically what we need and um now we can go ahead and create a cedar to so pitch that is a make cedar make seed or put this category seed so when we set up been created we can just add over here we can see a um, category factory Is it category for I think we call category I'm trying to remember the stuff we use. I'm very sure it's not new. Category Okay. Okay, so this will be this will be category. We can call something we call factory. Yeah? We can see um uh, count to under this model just click ten. So this is just ten that we need. Now we cannot go into our database see that file here. Yeah? I can just go ahead and um, comment this and I can call um we can call this call to say category seed class. Now I can do PHP at the sun EB seed. Now we have an error here that says um category factory. There's no um undefined factory on category. So in order to fix that, we have to go to our category model. We just need to uh, pass in uh, we can see use as factory. Okay, so this is just what we need to pass then. We can run on the seed again. Now you can see our seed has been created successfully. 
so now if i should check um whatever this now if you check our database go to um our our database you can go to categories there you can see we have list of categories created on it so that is one the other thing that we need to do now is um we need to create for the product so we want to have um an image um the name and the price image name price and also on this um description we'll call it description here yeah? so we'll call it description so okay so um back to so now i want to go ahead and create a uh, um a new model so we call this model we call this product then don't forget you want to pass for migration now for our product here product needs to be linked to like a category so we say put our id for the category so we leave that there all right then next we need to do is i want to pass the product name the description the price um then the first one to know so we need to pass the name description price and image so basically these are all, all we need so now you can see php at this um migrate okay so our product has been product table has migrated successfully so we should check that so we check that we we'll go to um database look for products which is here yeah, so you have um category id so let me try and insert so you can insert category id and so on and so forth okay so that one has been created successfully now in our product um table now product um so we need to pass as factory as well in the model then we need to do protected fillable which will be for the name description price there's no quality for this category id and as, as well there's also what image right so there's also image now we want to just create what's called the factory so say php that is um make factory right we call this people dot factory i will say the model should be equal to what product okay so like us like we did before we say protected model equals to what product because product class right so here we can now have um we can have the name description the price this now we can have um category id so for the category id we do uh want to plug um categories we want to plug the category id so i can say um category id i can say category a random order so in random order we want to just get the first id so it's going to just give us different categories okay and so this is what we want now we cannot go to php we can create our cedar let's make seed call it product cedar right so in this product cedar here we can just call products factory then we count um count hundred and create so so let's just create 20 products okay now I'm about to my database controller so my database cedar i can just have my product cedar here so since we run the first seed already for the category so we need to comment this because if we run this it's going to create another cedar for us you understand it's going to run the first one that's going to run the second one but let's just comment that out because we just want to run the product cedar now I can do PHP at the sun make uh, as a DB seed, right? You can see it has been uh, it seeded successfully. We check it out. So these are our products, and these are the product ID um, randomly, and these are our um, these are our image URL. Let me check if this image are real. Well, I don't think this image image works anymore. But anyhow, so we created all this one okay so we created everything that we need so but the next thing we'll do in the next tutorial is um is getting the details that is the details out to write an api for that i was going to be writing an api for the for adding to your favorite so that is clicking on the 
on this art symbol to add to your favorites and um the next tutorial will check out to look at check out and once we're done with the api we'll start working on the app itself all right so thank you for watching see you next time peace